First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes manual, monitor, camera, DC power cord, U bracket, windshield mount, sunshade, Farian bracket, cigarette lighter adapter, antenna, T-taps and screws. Pick up the monitor. There is the SD card slot. Pick up the windshield mount. Loosen the screw. The bracket can be adjusted flexibly. Follow my operation. After adjusted the angle, tighten the screws. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the back of the monitor and slide it in. Tighten the screws. After adjusted the angle, tighten the screws. You can mount the monitor to the windshield or dashboard and pull down the buckle. Now remove the windshield mount. Pick up the 3M sticker. You can tear off the 3M sticker and paste on the bottom of the bracket. Tear off the other side of the 3M sticker and paste it on the dashboard. Now demonstrate how to install the U bracket. Take out the gasket. You can stick gasket on the screw holes on the side of the monitor to prevent the product from scratching. Pick up the U bracket. Align the bracket hole with the screw hole on the side of the monitor. Fix the bracket and monitor with screws. Follow my operation. Repeat the above operation. Install the sunshade on the monitor. The bracket can be adjusted flexibly. After adjusted the angle, tighten the screws. Install the antenna on the back of monitor. Please note, both antennas must be installed on the monitor at the same time. Mount the third antenna on the camera. You can also use screws to mount the monitor in place. Insert the screws through the holes at the bottom of the bracket to fix the monitor. You can pass the screws through the holes of the camera bracket. Fix the camera to the car. Remove the protective film from the camera before use. Take up the green connector. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Now merge the two thin red wires. Then merge the two thin black wires. Insert the merged red wire into the positive slot of the green connector. Insert the merged black wire into the minus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws.
Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Connect the power cord to the camera. Connect another power cord to the monitor. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnect all wiring. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Connect another power cord to the camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Touch the power key to turn on, off the screen. When not in menu mode, touching the up and down keys has no effect. When the guideline appear on the screen, touch the up key, the H appear on the screen. Touch the down key to moving the guideline left or right. Touch the up key, the W appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Touch the up key, the H appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. The letter disappear on the screen. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is for the pairing signal. If the product you received has an image, please do not pair. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the picture. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can also adjust contrast and saturation. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the mode you want. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mode. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you need. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can turn the camera channel on or off. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the system date. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch OK key to switch to the next parameter. Adjust year, month, day, hour, minute in turn. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the language. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the language you need. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the P line. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn off the guidelines. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the play. Touch the OK key to confirm. When you insert the SD card, you can view the SD card information here. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the record. Touch the OK key to confirm. After the rewrite function is turned on, if the memory card is full, the video recorded before will be deleted automatically, and then the video will be recorded again automatically. When you insert a new SD card, please format the SD card first. After a few seconds, the system automatically exits the menu mode.
Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the OK key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the screen, indicating that the pairing is successful. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 